I was supposed to be taken out today because it's Sunday. So I'm not going to be now. I'm in disgrace. Not just me, though. Dave is, too. He's around the front feeling depressed while I'm around here. See? You can tell he's depressed because he's chewing grass. He does that when he's depressed. I think he thinks he's a dog. Otherwise, he wouldn't chew it. That's how bad he feels. But it wasn't really Dave's fault. It was mine, really. I guess it sort of started the day before yesterday, on Friday. Chris was still in bed sick because he had the flu. So before I left the school, I went to say goodbye to him. Nothing short of a stroke would induce me to stay in bed a day longer. I loathe being nursed. Well, believe me, it's no pleasure. You're a terrible patient. Good day, Tiger. Hi, Chris. I came in to say goodbye. You feeling better? He is. He could even make jokes. Well, a man needs his sense of humor. It's the only thing that makes lying flat on your back bearable. Is it? It sure is. You need to be able to laugh. Give me a good laugh and you'll see me a well and happy man again. The whole school went to kind of a thing at the town hall in the afternoon. And all day I kept thinking about Chris and what he had said, about needing a good laugh to get well. I was on my way out to get a train to come home. I was looking in the shops because I had my money box in my case with a whole two months savings in it. I thought I'd get something for Chris to cheer him up. Then I saw the place. It looked really neat. The shop window was full of terrific things. I just kept looking and looking. There was a man behind the counter inside, and I thought he had a nice face. I guess I shouldn't have done it, but anyway, I went in. Dave said later, that was my big mistake. I shouldn't have gone in. But anyway, I did. And it was too late. That's when the whole thing started. <laughs> Sleepy on and wake up with the sun in my eyes And face another day Yesterday I thought the rain would tumble down and blot out the skies But still it brought to me The Godfather's a change in my world The Godfather's bringing me the talent I tell my troubles to three And nothing worries me If I could, I know I would not live naturally I'd rather be with the Godfathers are changing my world The Godfathers Right, that's all. absolutely <laughs> wonderful. A short story that David has written. Can anyone read it? Well, if you like. It really is quite wonderful. Well, I won't be trying to sell it or anything. Oh. Well, it's not good enough. Well, I think it is. Thanks, Dave. I'd like to read it. Oh, bad news. I can't take Mike to the island tomorrow. The island? Oh, the island. Oh, no. Got to work. Oh, poor Mike. He'll be so disappointed. It was for his nature study project for school. Oh, and Chris is in bed sick with flu. He was looking forward to it so much. Sorry, I can't get out of it. Well, I could take him. Hey, Beard. Oh, that's settled then. Thank you, David. It's very sweet of you to offer. <laughs> Where is Mike? I'll give him the word. In his room. He arrived home five minutes ago. Okay, see you in a minute. If this is an island, how do you get to it? By launch. David, oh, is something wrong? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Truly.
real person, life is good. I feel as contented as you look right now. <sighs> what a wonderful feeling of peace. That's what I want to know. It's a bit low when I'm hands feeling sick. I may look all right, but I've had the flu. I'm not well enough to cope with all that bit. I'm cranky, I tell you, dead cranky. It's been short cheated. All right for a dwarf, not so good for me. Who did it? I certainly didn't. I have better things to do than go around short shitting your bed. I hope you seriously didn't think it was me. Well, I don't know, do I? No, it wasn't me. Not me either. And it wasn't me. Honestly, Chris, you do make me furious. As if I would short cheat you to bed. I know how ill you are. I think it's a terrible thing for anyone to do. You're a sick man. It's a terrible thing. Thank you very much. Oh, stop it. Come on, get out of bed. I'll make it for you. Oh, come on. Come sit in that chair. Good job. See yourself. My, don't we get into a bad temper? Aren't we bad tempered when someone short sheets our little bed? Oh, dear. Poor Chrissy's cross. <laughs> All right, whose is this? Whose is it? It's funny, very funny. I'm riddled with flu and I've got a temperature, but I could take a joke. I'm laughing. I had not <laughs> We don't you can take a joke, Chris. It's obvious. Who's the joker? Don't you think it was funny? Mike, is that yours? And did you short cheat Chris's bed? Yes. Oh, Mike, I'm ashamed of you. That's a terrible thing to do to anyone. Poor Chris is sick and you made him very angry. Where did you get that, that thing? From a shop. I bought it on my way home from school. I was only trying to cheer Chris up. He said a man needed a good laugh to help him get better. I was only trying to give him one. I see. Well, I don't think Chris is laughing, Mike. Well, I think it was a beaut thought. I'm sorry. I do, too. Where's your sense of humor, Chris? He had one. He told me this morning. Nevertheless... Oh, come on. What's the matter with you, lad? Can't you tell when a man's having you on? I've been killing myself trying to stop laughing. I think it's very funny, so I, I thought I'd have you on. And, and have I? <laughs> you should have seen your faces. Do you really think it's funny, Chris? Hysterical. It's the funniest thing that ever happened to me. I feel 100% better already. Do you really? <laughs> 100%. Oh, it was very funny. Oh, <laughs> dear. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> What have you got there? Can I have a look? Well, you promise not to tell anyone, otherwise you'll spoil it. No, I won't say anything. There's some cute things, Dave. Just wait till you see. Gary? Yeah? Dinner's ready. Are you all there? I'll get them. Well, hurry. I'm in a dishing up position. Right. Oh. Come in. Hi, it's me. Ah, oh, Davy, me boy. Come in, come in. I bought you a tin of almonds home. You like nuts, don't you? Ah, oh, look, that's your actual kind thought, Dave. I sure do. Well, I'll leave them on the table. Oh, very kind. Thanks very much. Oh, it's a pleasure. Oh, here, I'll... Uh, I'll move your ashtray closer so you can reach it more easily. Oh, you're spoiling me. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, that's a nice-looking steak you've got there. A oh, beauty, and am I starved. I must be recovered. Say, I believe you're taking Mike on this nature study excursion tomorrow. Yes. Did you fix it? Shh, yeah. 
these, Mama? Would you take this cup of tea into Chris for me? Coming. What do they call those rubber cushion things? Whoopee cushions. That's what they were called in my day, anyway. A bit rude. <laughs> they are a bit. I put one under my grandmother once when I was about 11, during my practical joke phase, and the whole family wouldn't speak to me for a week. What about your grandmother? <laughs> she cut me out of a will. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> Never forgave me. It was really bad. Even now, when I visit her, she starts looking under all the cushions before she'll sit down. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Oh, it's been years since I've played a practical joke on anyone. It's made me feel like a kid again. <laughs> Thank heaven Chris got his sense of humour back. He had me worried for a minute. <laughs> Can I come in, Chris? Sure, come in, Tiger. I brought you your tea. Oh, thank you. You haven't eaten your dinner. No, I wasn't hungry. I lost my appetite. Have you had enough? Uh, not yet, mate. I didn't feel like one right now. Will you have one later? Probably, mate. It's hot. It's, uh... Not going to jump at me or anything like that, is it? No. Oh, that's all right, then. Very funny. It's another trick. Yeah, well, just pass me the ashtray, would you, mate? Sure, Chris. <laughs> it's witch's wool. Yeah. You spilled your tea. Uh-huh. And you know something else? It's hot. What is it, Mike? Something happened. What's wrong? Chris just went his bed. one in the morning. It's got to stop, mate. It's all got to stop. I'm going out of my mind. I make one casual remark and I've created a monster. It has all got to stop. Good morning. Breakfast. No, oh, I don't think I can eat a thing. Nonsense. You're getting up today, aren't you? Have those two practical jokers left for their nature study trip yet? They're finishing their breakfast and they're off. Then I'll wait till after they've left. They've probably got the whole place booby-trapped. Oh, it can get exhausting, can't it? A terrible black whirling thing jumped out at me from the kitchen drawer this morning. I knocked a bottle of milk all over the kitchen floor. Oh, I'll have a talk to Mike. Dave's the one I can't oh. get over. He's recapturing his youth. One must be tolerant. Well, not for much longer. My patience has almost run out. I'm too weak to cope. Oh, never mind, Chris. Eat your breakfast, you'll feel stronger. It all started with you, you know. Mike wanted to laugh you back into good health. <laughs> back into a complete relapse, you mean. Where did he get the money to buy all those things? Oh, from his money box. If he chooses to spend his savings on practical jokes, then it's up to him. But I told him when he needed his money for something he really wanted, then he wouldn't have any he would have to go without. He must make these decisions for himself and take the consequences. Mm. Have you checked this tray thoroughly? <laughs> of course. It's perfectly safe. It's your breakfast. boy popped the package into our letterbox. How positively extraordinary. It must be meant for me, otherwise why would he leave it? 
Rather sweet. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about that house. Of course, children can be very thoughtful. And that child has the most angelic face. What a sweet thing. To leave me a little gift and hurry away like that before I could thank him. <coughs> ah! Fine. Happy as a lark. Come on, then. Chris, you know, I'm a little worried about David. He confessed to me this morning that he gets terribly seasick on boats. <laughs> well, he's not exactly going to sea. But even on a rowboat. He said he can't sit in a bath without feeling sick. Oh, you worry too much, you'll be fine. I think so. If we've missed any, we'll soon know. What are you going to do with them, Chris? Hide them? <laughs> oh, just for a while, until I get one good night's sleep at least. I suppose by that time the novelty will have worn off and he'll forget about oh, them. Oh, poor Chris. Is it terrible being persecuted? Dreadful. Actually, I'll have a talk to him and to David. He shouldn't encourage Mike. A joke's a joke, but it can go too far. Mrs. Parsons was beside herself on the phone just now. I apologize, but it seemed to have no effect. I want Mike, when he comes home, to go straight over there and apologize personally. Mrs. Parsons is an old lady. You shouldn't frighten her like that. It'll take more than one trick to frighten Mrs. Parsons. Now, look, how do you fancy some fresh air? Oh, I'd love it. Good. Get your coat. We'll go for a drive. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, do you like almonds? Oh, I love them. Here. Oh, oh, will it go bang? No. <laughs> Oh, a bit early yet. Thank you, Chris, for a lovely day. My pleasure. What time is it? Just before five. Oh, I thought David and Mac would be home. It's getting late. Relax, it's not even dark. We'll be soon, though. Hope they're all right. Live here? Not a soul. It's just us and the seagulls. Are we maroon? Looks like it. I'm hungry. I know. Someone might see the fire. That's what I'm hoping. Hey! Hey! Fire up there! Hey! Dave, can you take us in his boat? It's not big enough. Anyway, I wouldn't feel safe. We missed the last ferry. Can you make a phone call for us from the mainland? A phone call from the mainland! Thank heaven. Hello? Yes, it is. Who? Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Really? How about that? Oh, come on. Who is this? Is that you, Dave? Who is it? Someone doing a funny voice. It says, Dave and Mike missed the last ferry to marooned on the island. It's probably Dave phoning from up the road. You tell him to get home. It's late and I want to have dinner. Are you still there? Well, look, you get straight home like a good little boy because your dinner's ready. They never give up. Marooned. Still cold. Thanks. There you are. Have you seen anyone yet? Not yet, but we should soon, though. What's the time? It's half past nine. It's 9.30, Chris. It's past a joke. I'll get my coat. Where are you going? See if I can find something to take me across to the island. I think that phone call was for real. That's what I think. They really must have missed the last ferry and they're stuck over there. I'll go with Chris. Please hurry. <laughs> upset too. Dave said it was all his fault, but it wasn't really. It was all just an accident. When they put me to bed, Chris told me a story about another boy a long time ago who cried wolf. I guess it was a bit like that, and I'm really sorry now, and I've promised not to play any more practical jokes. So is Dave, but we're still a bit out kind of awful being in disgrace. But I think everyone will calm down soon. Come on, person. See ya. I just came to say goodnight. Good night, Mike. Good night. Good night. Good night. Surprise, surprise. Why, you short sheeted my bed. Just wanted to show you what it was like. Oh. You see, it's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do do do. 